Top 5 College Degrees That Are Actually Worthless There is a reason why most degrees today aren't as useful as they used to be. The reason is simple. We now live in a result-driven society. Companies are more interested in what you can do than the degree you have in your shelf. Think of it this way. If you were the CEO of a company and two individuals made it to your interview. One of them has a degree in your area of need. The other doesn't have a degree in that field but is vastly knowledgeable and has undertaken five or six personal projects that well exceed your expectations. Which of these two individuals will you hire? Let us know in the comment section below. Welcome, future millionaires to another episode on our channel. We hope you all are doing okay and feeling pumped to succeed. If you are new here, you are welcome to Millionaire by 25 YouTube channel. The best place on the internet to get inspiration and information about wealth, business and making money online. Be sure to hit that red subscribe button so that you can be aware when we put out new amazing videos like this one. Without further ado, here are the top 5 degrees that you might want to reconsider going for, in case you wanted to study them in the first place. Number 1. Art and Music. A lot of the top musicians in the music industry do not have degrees in music. And the ones who do have a degree like John Legend, Carrie Underwood, Lady Gaga, Ludacris and Madonna, their degrees are not in music. John Legend studied English with a concentration in African American literature in the University of Pennsylvania. Lady Gaga was studying at New York University's Tisch School of the Arts but dropped out to focus on her music. Carrie Underwood has a degree in mass communication with a concentration in journalism. Do you still want to go to the university to study music? Except it's just for your own satisfaction. Stevie Wonder, arguably one of the best piano players to walk the earth, was blind throughout his entire career. Yanni, who clearly needs no introduction, has a degree in psychology. I believe you now get my point. Careers like music and arts, are centered on what you can do. If you can play instruments better than everyone else on earth, or your paintings are bought at every exhibition, perhaps universities that offer those degrees need you more than you need them. Number 2. Film Video and Photographic Arts. On a general note, chances of landing a job at a company with this degree is slim and there are statistics to back this up. Film Video and Photographic Arts has an unemployment rate of 11.24% and the reason is simple. There are not too many job opportunities available. It is way better to enter the entrepreneurship space and build a brand. And since you don't need a degree to build a brand, perhaps an online videography course and a few years of experience is all you need. Number 3. Drama, Theater Arts and Other Forms of Performing Arts. We are not discouraging you from going for this degree. But consider that a degree in this field isn't required to get into the industry. Most people who make it in this field started off going for as many auditions as possible and taking as many free roles as possible while building credibility and getting contacts of influential people in the industry. Only the top 1% of people in this industry make all the money, so the last thing you want to do is to get into student loan debt just to get the degree. Number 4. Languages. I think the easiest way to learn a language is by mixing with the native speakers. The benefit is twofold. You get to learn the language with the right accent and you learn their culture. An additional bonus is that this is a more fun and effective way to do it than perhaps learning in the classroom. So, my proposition is this. Even though I am not a career advisor of any sort. If you want to go to university to study language and major in French for instance, it's probably better you take your $22,000 school fees and head to France for a few months. If you are dedicated, you can learn in one year, what would have cost you four years at a university. Before we continue with the list, we are not saying that all university degrees are worthless. There are some degrees that are absolutely necessary if you want to have substantial information on the subject and or practice that profession. Like engineering, medicine, pharmacy, robotics and the likes. But for some other professions, due to the high demand for competency, a lot of companies are out to see what you can do irrespective of degree and languages fall into such a category. Number 5. Anthropology and Archaeology. Anthropology and archaeology are the study of human cultures. The major difference being that archaeology is study of ancient culture. Archaeology is a subfield of anthropology. While these courses may be very exciting and interesting to study, a significant paycheck usually only goes to doctorate degree holders. 
there aren't many job opportunities in this field either. If you love the course, by all means go for it. But while studying it, you may want to consider thinking about alternative means of footing your bills after graduation from university. Like we have said in one of our other videos, there is money in all professions. And what will make you a lot of money in any profession is that you are among the top 25% competent people in that field. A lot of other factors come into play, I must admit. But being extremely competent in your field, is something that is within your power and it is a great step to landing a high paying job. Do check out our video on computer skills of the future if you haven't already. The link will be in the description box below. Remember to like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We will see you in the next video. As always, stay energized.